the future is now. As trite as that quote may be, it's relevant as hell right now. The future is now. This famous quote is and always will be relevant until there's no longer an intelligent life form recognizing, experiencing the truth of those words. But why am I acknowledging this quote now? It's simple, cyberpunk. The cyberpunk genre has always been one that intrigued and entertained me. A mid 80s baby and a child of the 90s, many of the video games and movies I consumed were strongly influenced by the genre, if not directly part of it. Games like Flashback, Fear Effect, Fade to Black, Final Fantasy VII, and my favorite game of all time, 1998's Metal Gear Solid. Movies like Akira, Total Recall, Robocop, Terminator 1 and 2, The Matrix, Blade Runner, and Virtuosity. The dystopian worlds of cyberpunk media seem stressful, if not terrifying, to actually have to live in. But were thrilling to explore within the confines of video games, TV, books, and film. I suppose it's similar to horror films. Great fun as long as you're not truly in danger of death and suffering. Fast forward to present day, the year 2022 at the time of this recording. I'm just as intrigued by cyberpunk as ever, if not more so. But that intrigue has now also been accompanied by feelings of trepidation. The future is now. Cyberpunk's required ingredients are all happening in real time right in front of us. A dystopian outlook on the near future? This is everywhere right now. Interest in alternate digital realities. Metaverse, Oculus, Decentraland, The Sandbox. The future is now. Drug or tech-assisted human modification Big Pharma and Big Tech are sending all of us a text saying, Hey, Big Head. A culture where corporate interests outrank the notion of justice and elected government. <laughs> Again, the future is now. High tech, low life. The simple four-word phrase that encapsulates the cyberpunk genre. In present-day Western society, tech that 30 years ago could have only been explained as magic is now available relatively cheaply to everyone, regardless of economic status. It's no shock at all to see a homeless person with a smartphone, a supercomputer that not only puts the world at your fingertips, but puts you at everyone else's. Man's technological capabilities are higher than they've ever been, yet it seems like we're regressing. The luxury of gizmos and gadgets mixed with the plague of barbarianism. High tech, low life, indeed. Digital devices and platforms used to expose, dox, shame, and cancel, seemingly serving as precursors to minority reports, pre-crime. Machines and AI doing more and more of the heavy lifting, human beings viewed more and more as dead weight. In a dystopian scenario, the living don't thrive, the dead wait. Let's not forget the renewed interest in space exploration, the talks of off-planet colonization. Total recall, anyone? Interestingly enough, the only thing missing, or at least not yet blooming in full, is perhaps the most easily recognizable characteristic of cyberpunk, the aesthetics. Aside from a few areas in major cities, most of the country has yet to look anything like the dark, rainy skyscraper and digital ad clogged environments of Blade Runner and Akira. It seems we're getting there though. Cyberpunk, no longer just a sci-fi subgenre, but perhaps soon to be a legitimate era in human history. The future is now. <laughs>